Hi there, this is Klaus Hermann from farbspielphoto.com and in this episode of Hands-on Photo Tips I'm going to show you how to combine layer masks in Photoshop. Okay, <coughs> first of all, what is a layer mask? Layer mask is essentially a black and white image or a grayscale image that reveals certain parts of the underlying layer or group or hides certain parts. As you see in this example, you have white areas and in these white areas, everything that's inside this Windows group is visible. And you have black areas, and these black areas hide everything that's in this Windows group. So if I show you the image and I disable the mask by clicking, by shift clicking on the, on the mask, you see that now the entire group is visible. And if I enable the mask again by shift clicking on it again, the effect contained in this group is only applied to these window areas. So in this example I decided to work on four different areas of the image. The first one are the windows, the second one is the floor, the third one is the structure in the ceiling, and the fourth one is essentially everything but these three parts. So I created each of these layer masks using different techniques. Um, and I could, of course, create this layer mask also by uh, painting, brushing, or something on the layer mask. But in reality, um, this is only a combination of the first three layer masks. And then I inverted this mask. So how do you actually do this? Okay, so basically before we start, um, it is important to understand that you can take any layer mask and turn it into a selection by simply uh, holding down the control key and clicking on the mask. So you see these marching ants indicating a selection. And in a similar way, or vice versa, you can create a mask from any selection. So if I click on this mask button here in the layers panel, you see that from this selection that I created, a new mask is created, and this one is essentially the same as for the Windows group, because that's the selection we just made. Okay, so how do you actually combine these masks now? You make use of this principle uh, by turning each of these masks into a selection. So for the first mask, we control click on it, you can also see that your cursor changes while you hold down the control key. It's got that little dashed box uh, on it. And now to, to add another mask to this selection, you again hold down the control key, but now you press the shift key in combination with that. So you hold down the control key and the shift key. You see that your cursor icon now has a little plus in that dashed box indicating that whatever you click will now be added to that selection. So you add on the you click on the mask and it's important that you really click on the mask and not anywhere else on this layer. And you see that now we have a selection consisting of the outside of the windows and the floor area. You do the same for the third mask clicking on it and now the structure in the ceiling is added to your selection. Okay, so now you have selected each of the areas and you're turning that into a mask simply by clicking on this mask button here. When I show you this mask, you see that all the masks that we've seen before are combined. Okay, so that net, that's not quite what we, we were trying to do. What we are actually trying to do is to get this mask, so in essentially the inverse of what we've just selected. So there's two ways of doing this. One is you could activate the layer mask by clicking on it and press Control I and that inverts the mask. Or let me quickly delete this mask again to show you how this can be done more efficiently. You can start over again you know, clicking Control uh, on the mask, shift control clicking on the other masks just as we did before and now 
activate the group or the layer that you want to add the new mask to, hold down the Alt key on your keyboard and press the mask button uh, at the bottom of the layers panel. This creates an inverted mask and it is essentially exactly what we wanted. Okay, so this is the, the first method how to do it. I'm going to delete this mask again. There's a second one. If you don't want to hold down any modifier keys while you're doing this, you can also use the pop-up menu. So by right-clicking on the layer mask, you can open a pop-up menu. And this pop-up menu has some items here that let you combine masks. For now, we're going to click on Add Mask to Selection and you see that the effect is exac exactly the same as we had when we used the modifier keys. You go to the next mask, right click, click Add Mask to Selection and so on. For each of the masks that you're trying to combine, you're going to right click and then choose Add Mask to Selection. So again we have a selection containing all the masks and we just need to activate the group or the mask that we want to apply the layer to, the, the layer mask to, hold down the option or the Alt key and click on this Create Mask icon. Okay, so that's essentially how you combine masks. A little bonus tip for you that I have is whenever you're trying to get rid of a selection, just hold down the control key, press D, and the, col uh, the selection is gone again. Okay, so thank you very much for your attention. That's it for today's episode of Hands-On Photo Tips. See you next time. Bye-bye.